All right, and we are rolling. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, 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 one and all. <laughs> so, now comes the fun part. <laughs> Yep. Let's do it. So, welcome, guys. Let's see. Now, let's, uh... You know, let's try to, let's try to have a good time, guys. And yes, to add basically quarters, I guess you would put it, as is to press the start button on your X... And your PS4 controller, and as you can clearly see, I'm, you know, adding a lot of quor adding a lot of quarters just to be on the safe side. Fire! Hang on, Scene one. Fire, we gotta get April out. Boom. Come on, boy. <laughs> God, I'm having a lot of fun right now, guys. And so, yeah. If you guys have bought the Calbunga collection, you guys have probably been having as much fun with this game as I have. <laughs> Not today, boy! Try again. Try again, chump. Oh, yeah. Not resist oh, I didn't resist you. Because you're, you're an idiot. Here we go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Try a lot. Try a Come on, you can do better than that. Alright, Rock Steady. And yes, it is Rock Steady this in the in this one this level. Take that, punk. Shadow. Try again, Shredhead. After that creep. Man, what a creep. And yes, this is the uh, this is the actual arcade game that came out in 1989. Not the one that was made on not the one that came out on the Nintendo. And unfortunately that one added two extra levels for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. So yeah. I mean I don't know if any of you guys out there enjoy are enjoying this as much as I am. But if you are, join in the chat, you know? Yeah. Uh, Beat the tie, boys. <laughs> Come on, shell boy. There you are, boys. Boom. Come on, boy. Than that, come on. Boom. And yes, they did remove the Pizza Hut logo. As you can probably tell. Which, you know, because they're probably their deal with Pizza Hut probably expired. I don't really know why. Any no, Bebop, you are. <laughs> oh, God, this is fun. 
ain't getting any prettier. <laughs> yeah. Now, now guys, now this, now this is the good version of the arcade game. So do I think, think this version is bad? Not at all. I think the one that came out on the Nintendo was bad, though. The reason? Because first of all, it added two extra levels that made absolutely no sense. No, I mean those two extra levels that were added, added nothing. Pizza time. Added two extra level, those two extra levels that were added to the Nintendo version, added nothing to the game. Now, do I think that maybe, maybe Konami or Ultra Games or whoever it was that made the game, you know, could have done, could have done better? Absolutely. Yippee ki yay, man! <laughs> Yippee ki yay! Yippee ki yay, Baxter! Sucker! Come and get him, yell brain! <laughs> See? Those two extra levels are not in this. And let me tell you, they were not a welcome paint. They were not a welcome change. No. They were an unwelcome intrusion that served no purpose whatsoever. Boom! Oh yeah! Get off of me! Get off me! Punk! Get off me, hot shot! And yes, by the way, I am playing this by myself, if you're wondering. I don't know if that really is a, you know, concern. I don't know if that's something you want to ask. I don't know if that's really even, I don't know if that's anything really to ask, but, you know. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta the vista, boys. Come on, boys. Pizza time. <laughs> yes. Let's move it. Thank you. I owe you one. Oh, April, you don't owe anything. You don't owe him anything. No, you don't. But if you want to, you know, you want to thank him for saving your life, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. If you want to thank, if you want to thank Donatello for saving your life. Yeah, knowing the fact that you were in the hands of Shredder's two hench mutants. Bebop and Rocksteady, who, by the way, as far as I'm concerned, really, um, shall I worth this? really had nothing really to say. Do not resist us. Do not resist you. And yet you guys yet you guys are the ones getting your get you guys are the ones getting your little metal butt kicked by a ninja tur by a turtle. By a, by a turtle that literally knows how to swing a bow staff. <laughs> yeah, <Pizza> boy. <laughs> oh, so you guys feel lucky. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky you. Yeah. Try again, boys. Welcome 
here. That way they... Well, if the foot soldiers want to... You know, if the foot soldiers aren't, aren't bright enough to get out of the way of the car, that's their business. That's their problem, not mine. Come on, boy. Ugh. what it takes to be lucky? I don't think you do. I know, I know. Come on, boy. I'm just do I'm just doing the right thing. <laughs> Come get me. The turtle. 
Come get me, boulder breath. Come on. Gotta get those rock heads in there. Gotta get those rock heads back in there. As Michelangelo so famously put it in uh, season one, episode four, I think it was. Hot rodding teenagers from Dimension X, which sounds like, which it, which in itself sounds like a, I don't know, parody movie or something. I don't know. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. God, I'm having a lot of fun here, guys. Although general, although Granitor, by the way, that's who this is. If you haven't, uh, if you didn't already know. You know, um, yeah, that's the one you're fighting. In this level. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know why people think it's like Trag. General Trag. Because it isn't. Come on. Come on, you granite goon. Come on. Come on, you granite goon. Oh, God damn it. Thank you. Go. Thank you, my turtle. <laughs> you know what would have made this game slightly better? And I'm not kidding about this, you guys. It would have made it slightly better if it actually got the voice actors to do to you know to do the voices in this game. That would have made it that would have made this game just even even better. Cause this game is about as close to perfection as 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 you can get. So what do I think of the actual arcade game itself? This one? Oh, it's a masterpiece. It's a work of art. Game, this one, this this version of the arcade game. Oh, 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 oh yeah, it's it's a it's a good it's a good time. Ooh. Yeah, sorry about that, you guys. That uh, kind of, you know, happened. Take that, take that, you microchip minute. Yes. Got to cross that without any, without any trouble. And. <laughs> Same thing there. Gotta cross that with no, with no, with no trouble. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah! Come here, little. Come here. Pizza time. Pizza time, baby. Yeah, it's pretty obvious they're getting those pizzas from Vinny. I. Now, this is General Trag. And yes, General Trag is a ginormous pain in the ass. Uh, you know, uh, there's almost much of pain as pain as granitor is. I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but it seems like every every hit I do on him seems to do one point of damage. Wait a minute, I never noticed that before. That's something I don't. That's something I never really knew. Yeah, so what do I what do I think of this game? Of the, of the arcade game? The actual one? 
How about... Love it. The turtle. The yeah, I know some might say, you know, it might sound like it might, might sound like Craig saying something else, but no, he's not saying that. He's saying, what's the turtle? Yeah, it, he's actually, yeah, that's what he's actually saying, or at least that's as far as I know. Come on, Crank. You know, Crank, for someone who's supposed to be really intelligent, and is supposed to be really smart, how come, how come your android body seems to be, you know, taking damage right now and you claim to be invincible? Which, if I remember right, means you can't be harmed. Well, guess what, Frank? You can be harmed. Because you are being harmed. What? You seem to be taking damage. And you guys... And guys, yes, I did do a full playthrough, if you guys want to check that out, of the... crappy version of this game. Yeah, I did do a I did do a full playthrough of the crappy version of the arcade game, one that came out on the Nintendo, not the Super Nintendo, like some might think. Come on, Krang! Oh my God! Seriously, Krang, will you just hurry up, please, and take enough damage to where you will not... Where, thank you. Will that be where that will happen? I'm invincible. No, you're not. Alright, Shredhead. You're out of there, Shredder. You lose again. Ha 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 ha. Ah, <sighs> that felt wonderful. Freak the foot. The mink with a mouse suit and total detective wrong. That's turtle power. But what about the shredder and crank? Burnt to toast? Vaporous to milk shake? Or escape to Dimension X? By the way, Dimension spelled wrong. Until we know, none of us can sleep safely in our beds or shells. Oh god, so yeah, so what do I think of the game? It's still it's still it's still just it's still just as good as it ever was. So what do I think of what okay, let's see. The gameplay the gameplay's awesome, the story's very well done, the 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 bosses the bosses are the bosses are just as memorable because of course they're Mostly films from the TV series that you might remember from the 1987 series. The 87 series, you know, like Bebop, Rocksteady, uh, um, Baxter Stockman. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um. Oh yeah, uh, Granitor, uh, Tra General Trag, and all right, here we go, and booyah. And thank you very much. 621 points. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
And I figured, you know what? Yeah, might as well do... Might as well do Turtle in Time while I'm at it. Might as well. <laughs> and yes, they kept this song intact. This is April on the recording. April with her, with her, with an actual voice, you know, um, and of course, and seriously, they couldn't get James Avery to, to show up to record, to record Shredder's lines, seriously, they couldn't get, they couldn't get the, they couldn't get the voice actors from the show to show up to do, to do their lines, I mean, seriously, guys? Pizza time! And yes, this is the arcade game of Turtles in Time, so... So, yeah. You guys are probably wondering, why am I doing the, the arcade game of Turtles in Time, too? Well, I just want to have, you know, proof. I just want you guys to be able to see that Turtles in Time did have an arcade game. For those of us who, like myself, did not know that until this collection came out. No, really, I did not know until this collection came out that Turtles in Time had an arcade game. I honestly did not know. Pizza time. Terminate the turtles. turtles. Really, Baxter? Get back. Get down here, you. Get down here, you war. Get down here, Baxter. Please. Get back here, Baxter. Baxter, you, you creep, you creep. Come on, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Alley Cat Blues. Let's go. Cool off, sucker. Cool off, sucker. Cool off, suckers. God, the foot clamp, the foot soldier robots. I swear to God, have no idea that Shredder is actually that Shredder doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's actually doing. Pizza time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, you may be asking yourself, if I was gonna play only the arcade game, why am I playing this? Well, because I figured I'll just throw this in as a little added bonus, guys. I figured, you know, that way you guys, you know, have a, like a double feature. I guess you could put it that, I guess you could put it that way if you want to. I'm going to mangle you, green slime balls. 
Oh, you are metalhead. Is that why they say I just proved I just I just beat you again? Sewer surfing. Sewer surfing. Level that is the Super Nintendo version, by the way. Pizza monsters. Wait a minute. Wait, isn't that what they were called? The pizza monsters? I could be mistaken. No, now if I got that wrong, guys, you know, you know, feel free to correct me if I got that wrong. You feel free to do that because I really don't know. If that's what they were called or not. I... At least I think that's what they were called. At least that's what I've always called them. The... My toes, my toes. Wait a minute. I think I... Wait. Wasn't this from the... Wasn't this from... To the killer pizza? No, that's what the episode was called. It was a, it was an episode in season two where I think like Krang sent like uh what looked like weird looking eggs to Shredder, who's on who's on Earth I think, and and the and the eggs when they fully hatch are like. Are these like weird little pizza monsters? Are these weird little monsters? And by the way, the pizza monsters kind of look like the uh, aliens from Alien. I don't know if that's where they got the inspiration from. I don't know. But... <sighs> yeah, I know. God, these things are a nuisance. Uh, man, these things are a pain in the neck to hit, but man, come on, little. Oh. And of course, here going to. Banishing you to a time warp from which you will never return. Really? You couldn't get you couldn't get someone who can actually who can actually do Shredder's voice to say, to say that. Holy crap, dude! You couldn't get James Avery or. I don't know, someone who can do an awfully good sound like of his, of his shredder to say that line. Well, if they had, I'm pretty sure, you know, that... Well, I don't know. I don't know if this is true or not, but at least it would have, you know, sounded like... I mean, sounded like Shredder saying it, but... Whoever the voice actor was that said that line... Didn't sound like he actually, you know... Didn't didn't sound like he knew what he was saying, or he didn't you know believe the he didn't you know read the line the way they wanted to or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's the way they wanted him to read the line or not. But if that's the way they want him to read the line, that's kind of sad. If you ask me, and I know no one asked me, but you know that is kind of sad. You know to have to have someone to read a line like, "My patience is wearing thin." 
I'm banishing you to a time warp from which you will never return. Forgot the sun cream. And yet... Forgot the sun cream. Yet, I'm pretty sure the voice actor, whoever it was, Forgot the sun didn't, cream. you know, didn't realize what he was actually saying when he said it. Pizza time. I'm pretty sure of that. I could be wrong though. Cement man. Cement man. Man, I just had a uh, wait, who's this guy? Man, I just had a shower. Cement man? Let me go out there no, because I don't. Cowabunga! Now we're going from from dinosaur times to pirate to pirate times. <laughs> yeah. All right, the story is pretty good. I'll admit that the story is good, but the voice acting does leave a little to be desired. I I, I do admit. Do I think this game? Do I think this this version of Turtles in Time is is bad? Not at all. Matter of fact, I, I think it's I think it's really good myself. Now, oh god. Now, now I'm certain the voice actors, whoever they were, you know, when they read these lines, were like, "Are you sure this is the this is the right line?" And they were like, "Yes, yes, it is." Now, do I think that maybe they could have improved the line? The, do I think the line reading, you know, maybe needs a little work? Mm, I'd, say me, I'd say maybe a little, but, you know, other than that, the line, line reading's pretty good. Pizza power! Oh, oh God. Duh, my oh, nose! My nose. Come on, boys. Now. Alright. Forgot the sunscreen. My toes, my toes. Forgot the sunscreen. Now, do I think any of the voice acting in this game is bad? No, I don't actually. It's just, I think that, honest to God, it might have been a little bit, you know, Better if they'd have got the actual voice actors from the show to voice the to voice their characters because I'm pretty sure all the voice actors were still alive at the time, you know, and were um maybe I don't know maybe they I don't know maybe they didn't want to do it. And there we go from pirate times to to the old west. Bury my shell at Wounded Knee. Oh. Really? They couldn't come up with a better name for this level? <sighs> come on, Shred. Come on, boys. <laughs> and yes, I know... Well, wait a minute. I just realized something. And I don't know if anybody else has noticed this ever whenever, whenever you're playing this game. Why are the foot soldiers here? That doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. Come on. Let's see. Yeah. Now, what do I think of this? What do I think of this version of Turtles in Time? Story's all right. The plot makes sense. The, it's like I'm pretty sure that the game. I'm pretty sure that you know, game. I'm pretty sure they were thinking, eh, maybe we could maybe we could improve on something that we did like two years ago. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure of that. And, but then again, how can you improve on perfect on almost perfection? You can't. It's impossible. Yeah, it's like you can't. Uh, Donatello, think about what you just said. You just said you feel seasick. And you're on dry land. Actually, you're on a moving train. No, you are not seasick. You're not seasick. You're... Well, you probably just have motion sickness or something. I don't know. Come on, dude. Yeah. All right. There you go, boy. Yeah. Ah. -ha. All right. Oh, goody. Pizza time. Oh, goody. One useless alligator. <laughs> now we're going from the old west to, um, well, a year I think a lot of us would like to forget. And here's why. Neon Knight Riders. Take a look at the year that this scene takes place in. Exactly. I think most of us would probably like to forget that year ever happened. And I think we all know why. Is this where they got the inspiration for those one things in, in Shredder's Revenge? I believe in the third level? I don't know. <laughs> what the heck? Those boxing gold robots again? Really, Shredder? Really? You couldn't come up with anything better than this. You couldn't come up with anything better than try and get rid of the try and get rid of the turtles by sending them through time. Have them basically fight your fight your foot soldiers, the foot soldiers and rock soldiers throughout time, and you think and you thought this was that this plan of yours was actually going to work. You actually thought this plan of yours was actually going to work. Again, no. This plan of yours was never going to work. Come on, you. Thank God. Yeah, and who's that fella? Frank, come on, man. Oh, really? You want me to face your wrath? And yet, you're not really doing anything. You're, going to pay. you're not really trying, are you? And yeah, you said the same line that you, that you did in the last one, which, by the way, was true. Starbase. Where no turtle has gone Where before. no turtle has gone before. Obvious Star Trek reference. I'm trapped. Yeah.
try again, Shredder. I mean, come on, man. You really can't come up with a better plan than this? Then send the turtles back to send the turtles throughout time, and basically then they fight their way back to 1991, where you're waiting for them, and you really don't even and you don't even know what you're talking. About. Oh God. I feel seasick. Uh, Donatello, how can you feel seasick on the moon? Or on a star base? Uh, I have no idea. Together they can't come up with a workable plan. And whatever they're guaranteed they could take over they could get they could basically accomplish their goal. I feel seasick. You shellheads are dead. Oh really? I'm trapped. Well, that's funny. Anyone Donna, got a pin? Danica looks pretty darn alive to me. That holds our way home. Let's go. Unfortunately, Crane, your your spaceship or whatever it was is not. Technodrome, the final shell shock. The Technodrome, the final shell shock. Come on, Shredder. Let's go. My, My favorite. Oh, really? Is it your favorite now? Mm. Well, that's funny. Come on, Matt. Come on. Come on, dude. Bye bye, Shredder. You lose the again. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, our four reptilian heroes, have overcome the arc villain Shredder. Shredder, why can't why can't you ever come up with a workable plan? I I mean serious. No no seriously, your plans are terrible. They don't work. <sighs> I 
I mean, you kept you keep sending your after the turtles, and guess what? You lose again. And I'm kind of wondering why don't you actually try coming up with a plan that actually might work here? Because if you don't, chances are. Your plan's gonna keep failing there. Keep failing there, bud. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. Your plan didn't work. Big Apple. Three. I don't. I don't think so. No, hurry. I just did that one. I'm not gonna do that one. Not that one. God no. Well, well, guys. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed that little um, that little, that little ditty, that little double feature. And if you guys did enjoy it, and I really hope you did, you drop a follow here on Twitch.tv. And if you guys, and if you guys enjoyed it, you know, also, you know, let you know, leave a comment to let me know. What you guys thought of it. And guys. Till next time. Remember. You guys are awesome. Just be safe. Be careful. And guys. If you haven't already done so. Make sure. Make sure. Make sure you take care of yourself. Alright. Alright. And guys. Again. Till next time.